Hey there, lady lovers. So I got a top 10 list request a few weeks ago. Shout out to Soul Philosophy for the request, and here I am. If you have anything you'd like to see me make a video on, drop a comment, and who knows, I may be inspired to make a video on that subject. In the meantime, here are my top 10 lesbian and woman love woman web series with a special mention at the end. Scam España. Scam, Norwegian for shame, is probably the most Gen Z show I have encountered. Each week, a 30-ish minute episode is posted, only the episode isn't released all in one go. Each scene is released at the time the event takes place in the story. Combined with an official character Instagram account posting photos and stories in real time too, it creates a unique way of exploring the lives of the teenagers it follows. Each season follows a different character from the group of friends as they navigate their own specific issues to do with school, friends, love and family. The original Norwegian series has been replicated in multiple countries and while it featured a gay couple, a few of the remakes have featured a lesbian pairing instead, namely on the German, French and Spanish versions. Of those, I confess, Scam España Season 2 was my favourite, as we follow Chris, who doesn't believe in love or relationships, and she meets and falls in love with the new girl, Joanna. Everything from the cinematography, the music and the writing, and the genuine chemistry between the actresses made it a pleasure to watch, and it does a wonderful job of capturing all those tangled teen emotions. Camilla. Camilla is pretty much a requirement on this list. This cleverly designed show ran for three seasons, culminating in a film, and included a number of queer characters, and most importantly, a lesbian The first season revolves around Laura as she starts vlogging her journalism project only to get embroiled in the mystery of why her roommate disappeared, why no one cares, and just who her new, odd roommate really is. It's a classic enemies-to-lovers romp with solid writing, some great comedic moments, and is overall very entertaining. If you watched Otalia on Guiding Light, this entry is surprising to exactly no one. While the ladies were censored from sharing a legitimate kiss on the US soap, Crystal Chappelle, who played Olivia, decided to give the gays what they wanted when the show ended back in 2009. Thus was born Venice the series, where she ensured that the very first scene of the first episode had herself and her co-star, Jessica Lachia, locking lips. The soapy web series boasted an impressive array of US daytime soap stars, won a daytime Emmy and went on for six seasons with all the soap-tastic twists and turns you could imagine, my favourite being the love triangle between Gina, Annie and Lara, played by the prepossessing Nadia Bajorlin. In a time where the web series was still a very new medium and queer rep was sparse, this was an oasis. Femina 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 follows a group of friends and their intersecting lives. Each episode focuses on a different character to weave together a tapestry of various queer lives in Montreal, Canada. It played at Cannes Film Festival in 2014, a pretty illustrious debut, and is an engaging show that explores the love and life of these 20-something-year-olds with at once levity and drama. Hashtag Louis Melia. Well, if you have watched my other videos, you'll be expecting this one. <laughs> this delightful series has Paula Ucero and Carola Rivera reprising their roles as Luisita and Amelia from the Spanish soap Amadas para Siempre to make a modern-day web series spin-off, Hashtag Louis Melia, exclusively streaming on Arte's Player website. It follows the gals as they meet, fall in love, and then live together. It has exactly all the fluffy, feel-good moments you could want. Her Story this primetime Emmy-nominated web series follows the lives of two transgendered women and their challenges as they date and work in LA. When Violet is approached by Ali to be interviewed for an article, sparks fly, but things are not straightforward. I vacillated between finding it heartwarming and sweet and yelling at Ali to get better friends because I had the very strong urge to hit this one in the face multiple times, especially when she outs Paige for no good reason other than she wants to. I guess you know the show is good when it makes you feel things. To least do us part. This web series explores what happens when you are forced to cohabitate with your ex. Awkwardness is one, especially when they are trying to move on from each other by dating and the like, but can't afford to break their lease and move out of each other's hair. There are two seasons to this, and I enjoyed the second season even more than the first. Nothing like having your first love show up in your life when you're not over them. 
Biffle. Here is another light-hearted web series. This one follows a household of queer people, one of whom is bi and in love with her best friend, who herself is of indeterminate sexuality. When a new flatmate moves in with a rather moody disposition, things get a little bit more complicated. It was fun seeing some lesser seen identities like the asexual lesbian with they them pronouns, for example, and I'm hoping they'll be out with another season soon. La théorie du Y. Anna is bored with her boyfriend of five years, and when she retreats to a pub after an argument with him, she catches the eye of Claire, and so begins a rediscovery of a part of herself she had shoved deep down. Aside from the excellent production quality and the solid writing, what I liked about the show was how it addressed the inner turmoil Anna feels as she tries to find her footing in the queer community due to a mixture of imposter syndrome and biphobia. It's not a topic I've seen tackled so explicitly in a series before, and I thought it was really well done. The Other Love Story Set in the 90s, Adia feels alone and misunderstood because deep down she knows that she's different. When Archil pursues a friendship with her, love blossoms between them, a love that must be kept quiet as no one around them would understand. This is touted as the first Indian series to show same-sex love, making it groundbreaking. It's also a well-done, sweet story of first love. Special mention, The Gay and Wondrous Life of Caleb Gallo. While this show is not Woman Love Woman, I've got to give a solid to our gay counterparts. This series is absolutely delightful. It follows Caleb and his friends as they live their lives in LA. You've probably seen the meme. Sometimes things that are expensive are worse. And Freckle is an absolute delight. Some lovely witty dialogue, hugely entertaining. I absolutely recommend you go watch this, even if there is near a queer lady to be seen. What are your top 10 women love women and lesbian web series? Which ones did I miss? Leave a comment below. If you like this type of content, like and subscribe. Until next time, lady lovers.